Hi, we're at Discover Gloucester now with Tess McCogan, the Executive Director, back once again after a couple of months away. And Tess, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's been a busy couple months. Glad to have you back. You know, the last time we talked, oh, thank you. The last time we talked, it was um, just before the schooner uh, festival, the schooner races and stuff. Um, and a lot has transpired since then. Um, it doesn't seem like, well, Main Street's empty right now, but that's not, that, that's not residents' fault or tourists' fault. Yeah, there's some construction. Is that what oh, you're talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah. Oh, I my, yes. They're working to wrap that up um, ahead of the busy holiday season, mm -hmm. which is coming up really quickly. And what about now, um, I want to ask you about um, maybe some spillover from uh, Haunted Happenings. Because yeah. in my travels, anecdotally, um, there were I, I ran into quite a few people who would ask me, uh, you know, where the best restaurants were. They just came from Salem and stuff like that. It, it, was it noticeable uh, downtown? I would say yes, more so this year than ever before. Every year we see a little bit of what I call trickle up from Salem because we're north of them. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but people who visit Salem in the month of October, and there are a lot of them, as was tracked last year, I think about a million, uh, need places to stay. And there mm -hmm. are only so many hotels in the in the region. So, of course, they all come here mm -hmm. as well, and, and they love it because you can go experience Salem. You can actually take the train there in 30 minutes mm -hmm. and walk and not have to worry about a car. And also it's like... The train is not as crowded as if you were coming from Boston because right. it's coming from up here with the end of the line. Um, and then, you know, you go into Salem, you do all the Salem things there are to do. You come back, you put your feet up, and you look at the ocean. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, you're a good salesperson. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, uh, in fact, last week there were three ladies who came from Salem, and this was after Haunted Happenings. And actually, they came from Lynn, and they got off the train and walked from the, from the train station uh, on Washington Street. Um, to downtown, and yeah. we're asking directions and stuff, so it's it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Word is getting out. Yeah, the retailers are seeing people with costumes now, so you know that it's it's definitely <laughs> uh, Salem. And then we also saw a lot of people here for that Hopper exhibit at Cape Ann Museum in, right. well into right. October this year. It's okay, awesome. so um, as we speak, it is mid, well, Thanksgiving's less than a week away. No, it's early this year, throwing me off. All right, so let's, let's get to it. What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to start with our Seaport Trail before we get into holiday stuff because there's so much holiday stuff happening. So um, Discover Gloucester developed a Seaport Trail this year, and what that is is a compilation of fresh seafood, our working waterfront attractions, maritime history, arts and cultural options, and things to do by water, like sails and whale watches, all put into one digital trail with a, a bunch of video really supporting it so that if you're planning your trip and you're trying to come up with a killer itinerary, uh, you can... Sorry, Aaron, we're on video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Live, I love it. <laughs> Um, is that something you need to take? Cause no, I, I can no, pause that's this. okay. That's okay. okay. Aaron's right. awesome. We'll, we'll get back to him. Okay. Um, so all on video. So if you go on our website, you can kind of get a sneak preview of what you can do here to interact with Gloucester as America's oldest seaport. So what? we're America's oldest seaport, which is a big deal. Go ahead. Well, one of the things I want to ask is uh, the ladies were asking me about uh, eating at certain places. Um, and this was just last week, and I know that some of the places uh, are seasonal and they're closed because yep. they were asking for uh, lobster rolls and stuff like that. So I, I asked them, said, "Do you have a cell, uh, you know, cell phone? Do, can you Google?" Because <laughs> you know, there's so many places here. So yeah. this would be the kind of thing you could prepare at home, but you could also just follow it on your phone. Absolutely. Yep. There's a digital map. Um, some of the accommodations who are participating in it have a reusable brochure. So if you're staying there, you can check that out at their front desk. We're mm -hmm. going green. Um, so a lot of it's online, and the the video part is really the exciting part because it gives you a preview of what you're going to experience. Okay. And some of the best highlights, we're talking lobster on a burger, um, caviche, lots of different seafood options. I, I wouldn't be able to name them all right now. Lobster quesadilla, you name it. Some so of that was really in, some of that I understood, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so lots lots to explore there. Um, and that that is now online. And I'll move right into holiday yeah. stuff because we're right around the corner. So Thanksgiving is next week on Thursday. And right after that is Small Business Saturday. So everybody knows about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Don't sleep on Small Business Saturday, though, because that's when you want to go shop locally, go downtown to Main Street, go to Magnolia, Lexington Ave, go to Bearskin Neck and Rockport, support local merchants, support that local economy. And on that is November 25th this year. So on that Saturday, we also kick off Winter Lights on Cape Ann. And I have a sneak preview of our, our map brochure here. Mm -hmm. um, these will be hitting stores next week. And there are going to be over 100 businesses across Greater Cape Ann. So that includes Ipswich, 
Manchester by the Sea, Essex, Rockport, and Gloucester mm-hmm. that will be illuminated. They'll have lights or decorations. Some of them are participating in a decorating contest that you can vote on. Um, and there's a comprehensive digital map for this as well that you can take this with you. You can use the shopping list on the back to write down some of the things you see and that you want to come back for for your, your loved ones. Um, that's really exciting, and that will run through New Year's Day. So you can kind of drive up to Cape Ann and drive around and see all the different lights, or you can drive up to one town or city and park and get out and explore the lights mm-hmm. close and personal. Get shopping. Um, okay, so that's a good start. Now, the day after the 25th, on the 26th, that is Gloucester's Tree Lighting and Christmas Parade. That is the Kent Circle Tree Lighting. Oh, we're talking November 25th and Sorry, 26th. yes. Okay, I, 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 that's on me. Okay, so, so we're still <laughs> yeah. in November. We're still in November. Right. There's so much happening. Okay. So the 25th is Small Business Saturday, as in the 25th, <laughs> gotcha. right after Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. The 26th is the Kent Circle, tree lighting, and Christmas parade. And then, after that, we have more happening. December 2nd is the annual Parade of Trees. It's going to be the second annual Parade of Trees in Gloucester, which is run by the Fishtown Horribles Committee, which is the same folks who do the Fishtown Horribles Parade on July 3rd. So they'll have like all these different crafted trees or things that are supposed to look like trees that you can go observe. They're going to be doing um, hot cocoa and crafts and different things that day. So where is this? I'm not... Uh, that trees. is at the Baptist Church, oh, okay. First Baptist Church. And it's only its second year, but it, it was a big hit last year. People love these Parade of Trees festivals. Mm-hmm. They come from all over. They have them in a few different cities in town, so don't miss that. Also that day, there will be a holiday art walk on Rocky Neck. So a lot of the galleries and restaurants on Rocky Neck are coming together to do fun things for the holidays, offer specials, offer sales. You won't want to miss that either. Okay, now, zooming forward a little bit. December 7th is going to be Ladies' Night. So if you're a Gloucester local, you know Ladies' Night is Mm. like the night for ladies to go shopping. Um, Retailers stay open late. And actually, so this is organized by the Gloucester Merchant Association. It used to just be Ladies' Night. Now it's Ladies' Night all day. So you can start at 10 a.m. and shop till 8 p.m. if you want to. A lot of the retailers are offering deals and sales, but also like snacks and sometimes little sips along the way. So there are fun things to do. Get your friends together. Get out there. Shop small. Check off all those holiday gifts you have to buy. Mm -hmm. The other, the men's version of that, men's night all day, is on the 14th. But ladies' night is the best. (laughs) Well, it's, it's great for us men both because on the one, we, when the ladies go out, we get to watch the game at home with yeah. a beer. <laughs> and then when it's our turn to go out, we can get to yeah, go out we and don't, watch it. we don't necessarily miss you at home either. <laughs> Oops. Uh, <laughs> no, we keep ourselves busy. Hallmark you movies, you know. Oh, goodness, yes. Um, so those are great events. And then on December 9th, there's going to be a lot happening. So everybody knows in Gloucester, we have the lobster trap tree. It's like famous like really really good photo moment and instagrammable moment but also just such a good symbol of the community's working waterfront and active seaport um, and all of the traps that are used in the tree are typically donated or lent to the community by local fishermen or suppliers of of traps that work with the Mm -hmm. fishing industry which is so cool so it's organized by cape ann art haven which is a, a nonprofit that works to create arts Um, experiences for people of all ages especially kids so all the buoys that get mounted on this giant lobster trap tree are painted by children from cape ann Mm. so there's a lot of real personal feel to it and um it's a beautiful beautiful thing this year that is typically on main street um outside the police station this year it's going to be right next to our office on the harbor loop 19 Harbor Loop at Solomon Jacobs Park, right next to the Harbor Master Building. And there are going to be 400 traps. This is Gloucester's 400-plus anniversary. We're still at the tail end of that now. So 400 traps. It's going to be a big tree this year sitting on the edge of the harbor. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So the tree lighting for that is December 9th. Um, this, that day, <clears throat> Art Haven comes over. They do arts and arts and crafts activities, they have hot cocoa, and Maritime Gloucester is also doing their Deck the Docks just for one day that day. So they'll be selling trees in um, wreaths, they will have their a sale in their museum store, they'll have um, a night, the night before Christmas, a pirate's version, which you don't (laughs) want to miss. They'll also have crafts and hot cocoa, and it'll just be like a very festive, fun day. 
also happening that day, because there's just so much happening, is the Middle Street Walk, which happens every year as well on Middle Street. That it is comprised of several different events pulled together. Last year, they did a really cool um, gingerbread house making competition. So you could submit your like best gingerbread house and get voted into this competition and voted on. Um, so there's, I don't have the flyer for that yet, but it's coming and you don't want to miss that event either. So there's a lot to do in Gloucester that day. And one more thing happening that day is Rocky Neck Art Trek. So there's the holiday walk on the second. The following week, there's another Rocky Neck event where you can go from Gloucester Stage up to Madfish Wharf and find different things to do for the holidays, different ways to celebrate. Mm -hmm. All that information that I just gave you can be found on our website. We have a really robust events calendar, so you can go to discovergloucester.com and check out all those events. And we will post all of that. Perfect. Yeah.